Hi there, it's Vicki McCarthy from Aussie Stampers. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today I have cased the catalogue with a project that is on page 39. And this is from the Thankful Thoughts Suite. And I just love this stamp set. I had to have it because it has so many good thank you images on it. And I've also used some of the other products that come with the in colours. So the enamel accents and the envelope paper as well. And I've added a few other bits and pieces to change it up just a little. Now I've cut an 8 inch by 4 inch piece of cardstock, scored it in half and with the piece that is left over after I've cut those A4 sheets down, I'm going to be stamping the main image on those square pieces. I have a sheet of the envelope paper in each of the five in colours and that measures six and seven eighths of an inch by six and seven eighths of an inch and I'll be making the envelope with those. I also have some one inch strips that I cut from the envelope paper as well in each of the five colours. Something that I have added to this project to step it up a little is the tags and labels framelits dies and I have cut out some whisper white cardstock. This is going to be the label that goes on the front of the envelopes and if you cut them out really carefully you end up with this terrific shaped frame so I'm keeping all those frames to use on future projects. The other thing that you'll need are the enamel accents and these come in each of the five colours too. These are really cute. These are a new product. They come in hearts, stars and circles. So I'll be using those as well. And of course the ink pads for each of the five in colours. I have my stapler and I have some snail and dimensionals. So I'm starting out stamping on those square off-cut pieces in the centre and these will be cut out into a circle using the circle framelits. But while I have the ink pad open, I want to stamp on the inside of the card as well. And there are enough greetings in this stamp set that you can have the main greeting on the outside and then put five different greetings on the inside. So I thought how cute would that be to dress the inside of the card as well. So I'm going through each of the colours, stamping initially on that first off-cut piece and then taking the card base and stamping that greeting on the inside. So I'm doing this with each of the five colours. Now if you have some areas that haven't inked up properly, just take a blender pen and take the ink that's on the stamp to fill them in. So there's a little tip for you. So each of these greetings on the inside of the card is a different greeting but they are all part of that Thankful Thoughts stamp set. Just take a little bit of time to line them up so they're nice and straight. The image on the outside, you don't really need to get it too straight because you'll be cutting that into a circular shape using the circle framelits. And here's the last card done. Now I've run those outside pieces through the big shot with the circle framelits so they're all cut out. And now I'm going to change it up a little bit. On the samples in the catalogue each of the cards has some of the rooch ribbon behind it and some silver sequins. I'm going to do something slightly different just to make this project a little bit more my own. I'm going to use a one inch strip of the envelope paper, which I love, behind the card front and this will be a little bit of extra dimension on the front of the card. So put that on with some snail about two thirds of the way down and then I'm putting two staples because I love the look of these silver staples when they're partnered with the silver rhinestones. And just a couple of dimensionals on the back, pop them on the back, you're going to pop this element up and it goes to the right hand side and centred along that strip. Now I'm bringing in the enamel accents, I'm using the heart shaped accent in the peekaboo peach and a large and a medium rhinestone. 
oh no, sorry, that's a medium and a small rhinestone. So the medium one goes above the H on thank you so much, and the small one goes up above that heart and off to the centre. So that's what your card looks like finished. And I'm going to go through and finish each of them in the same way. So that one inch strip is snailed on about two thirds of the way down the card. And then you'll need to cut off the excess with your snips. The next step is to put two staples in next to the U in thank you so much. Dimensionals on the back pop it up and it's on one side of the card and towards the bottom and that leaves you room for those lovely enamel accents and rhinestones. So go through and finish all the cards in the same way and you can see they each have a different greeting inside of them. I love these greetings and I was really excited to open the order this morning and find this stamp set and see how terrific it was to have so many thanks greetings in one stamp set. Now for the envelopes. You're going to take your envelope and line it up at the three and a half inch mark, punch and score. And because it's a square envelope, the measurements are always going to be three and a half inches. So you can't get more simple than this in making envelopes. The measurement of the paper itself is six and seven eighths of an inch square. So just keep turning, punch and score, punch and score all the way around so that you end up with an envelope shape. And then I just put one end into the back after I've folded up my envelope. I want to put the end that is going to be the top flap into the punch at the back and that just rounds the corner so that you can see there's your envelope completed. So I'm going to do that with all five pieces of the envelope paper. And then when you're finished, it's very simple to put these together. All you need is to fold them with your hands. I wouldn't use a bone folder because it's very fine paper. Fold them like this and then bring in some snail. You're just going to lay a piece along there, piece along there, and you're done. That's how quick it is to make these envelopes. I love the envelope punch board and I use it a lot to make custom envelopes. Now the example in the catalogue, the envelopes have been folded with the plain paper facing the outside, but I decided to put the patterned paper on the outside and then I'm going to add the label so that I can write the person's name on the front and pop it on the label. But if you wanted to do them with the plain paper on the outside, that would work really well too. So now I'm bringing in these labels and I'm just going to snail them on the centre of the front and do that on all five envelopes. And this makes such a great project that I am going to pop them into a gift box. And I'll have that for you in the next video. I'll have a lovely gift box to put all of these five envelopes and note cards into and I'll make a lovely gift for somebody. Thank you very much for joining me again today. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.